How can the description of an object's motion be determined from a position time graph? And how can a position time graph be related to other representations of an object's motion, like dot diagrams? Well, I'm Mr. H, and I have some answers for you. Position time graphs, or PT graphs, show an object's position as a function of time. The manner in which the object moves determines the look of the graph, like whether it's horizontal, or straight and diagonal, or even curved. Let's talk about the details. Suppose that an object is stationary, keeping the same position over the course of time. The PT graph will be a horizontal line. But if the object is moving, there'll be some sort of slope to the line. It could be straight and diagonal, or even curved. But if it's moving, it won't be a horizontal line. The slope could be positive, or upward slope, indicating that the object is moving in the positive direction. A negative slope, or downward slope line, indicates that the object's moving in the negative direction. In physics, we often designate rightward as the positive direction. This makes leftward the negative direction. You have likely noticed that some PT graphs have straight diagonal lines, while others have curved lines. What's up with that? Well, a straight diagonal line indicates an object moving with a constant velocity. This PT graph is moving to the right with a constant velocity, while this PT graph is moving to the left with a constant velocity. If you ever have to make speed comparisons between objects, then focus upon the steepness of the lines that represent their motion. A steep line is for a fast object, and a gently sloped line represents a slow object. This idea of steepness applies to negatively sloped lines as well. You're looking for the biggest change in Y along the vertical axis for any change in X along the horizontal axis. A curved line on a PT graph indicates that an object is changing its speed, like from slow to fast or fast to slow. Here's four curved lines. Two of these lines get steeper over the course of time. They represent an object that is getting faster or speeding up. You know this because the curve starts flat and finishes steep. The other two PT graphs have lines that start steep and get flat over the course of time. This represents a getting slower or slowing down motion. Just like for straight diagonal lines, curved lines indicate the direction of motion by either an upward or a downward slope. Like PT graphs, dot diagrams represent the position of an object over the course of time. Each dot might represent the position at one second intervals of time. Arrows are often used to indicate the direction the object moves. If you notice the dots are really close together, the object's moving slow. But if the dots are spaced further apart, the object's moving fast. Evenly spaced dots are indicators of a constant speed motion. But if the spacing between adjacent dots is changing, well, you know the object's speeding up or slowing down. If you ever have to relate a dot diagram to a PT graph, here's a great strategy. Analyze the dot diagram and describe the motion in words. Then relate the words to the features of the PT graph. Here's an example. This dot diagram shows an object moving left or in the negative direction and very, very fast. So the PT graph would show a line that has negative slope for moving left and be very steep for moving fast. In the description section of this video, you will find some links to some awesome interactive exercises on our website. The best way to ensure physics understanding is to apply the physics concepts you're trying to understand. So why don't you try a few of them? Hey, I'm Mr. H. Thanks for watching.